Good morning. Good morning, family. We're here one more time, and we're super excited to be in church this Sunday. Absolutely. I am so thrilled. How do you feel, Yemi? Excited. We're super excited. Today is a special Thanksgiving service. Very Texas. special. You should know. We should all know what of this course. is. Of course. It is Mercy's blessed Thanksgiving service. We're super excited. Super excited. We're finally, they are here. Finally. We've been finally waiting, here. counting We've been waiting down, you know, praying, 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 yeah. and they're finally here, guys. We're so excited that you can be here with us. Absolutely. So welcome them and give thanks on their behalf. Yes. It's an amazing Please time. let us know how excited you are right now. Let us see your comments right now. Let us know how excited you are. Let us know what you're expecting in this service today. We have guest ministers. Adahe is going to be in the house. Yes. We also have your praise in the house as Woo! well. And of course, our spiritual father is going to be giving us the word. Apostle Tony Rappu is in the Building, I guys. am so excited. This Sunday Yo. seems super packed with super amazing packed. things. It's like a run through of special activities, Absolutely. Thanksgiving, praise, so much in one service, guys. For those who are not here, I'm sorry <laughs> to make you guys feel bad, but like. No worry, it, thankfully they're it's, online. It's about to be, they, can, uh, they can watch it. They can it must be a Holy Ghost so they're party going to here. Enjoy. Just sit tight, you know. Get, get your ready. dancing shoes ready in your living rooms and your bedrooms as well. You're not even ready for what's You're about not ready. To, you're, you're not you're ready. You're not ready. Are you, are you I'm, ready? I'm not even ready. <laughs> you guys. I'm not ready. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, our online family, we want to say welcome. Our online in laws, we want to give a special shout out to you. Um, so let us know in the comments where you're joining us from, yes. what you're expecting from the service. We're I see Regina be, here saying. We're going to be reading out some comments. Yeah, we're Regina actually. says, I can't wait, man. We can't wait as Honestly, well. Honestly, Regina. Hi, Simi. Simi says, Ekaro, everybody. I am excited to be here. Ekaro, Simi, we're so excited to have you. To everybody here, get ready for an Evan amazing Evangel is super excited. So are we. So are we. Yeah. We're super glad that everyone is you know, in this service, and it's going to be, ex we're excited, hope you're excited as well, be expectant, so relax, and just have a good time in the presence of God. See Bye. you guys. Bye. <laughs>
Hallelujah. Please celebrate the grace of the Lord upon his life. Good morning, good morning, good morning, Waterbrook. Good morning, Waterbrook. You know how we are. Good morning. Tell someone morning beside you, please. Just welcome someone to church. Welcome someone to church. Welcome to the Waterbrook. We're so glad to have you today. Welcome to the people online. We're so glad you could tune in this morning or evening or afternoon, wherever you are. Um, we're so, so glad to have you. And today we have a special, special, special service. We get to celebrate with our resident pastor and his wife. So we are, we are just very excited. We're very excited this morning and we want to jump right into the service. So please feel at home, right? Even if you're online, feel at home as well. Um, but before we, want, we, want, we get started, we just wanted to open this service with a word of prayer. Can we actually rise? Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you for your presence in this place today. We thank you for bringing us here. We thank you for cause to celebrate, cause to rejoice, cause to be joyful. We thank you for we know you are in this house. We know you are in this place this morning, oh Lord. We have come here with open hearts. We ask that you speak to us today, Father. We ask that you, that you, that you, that you just, that you are, we are conscious of your presence. And in all that we do, we understand that you are here with us. Just to understand that you are right here with us, Father. May we not be distracted. May our eyes be fixed on you. May our hearts be open to receive today. May we not leave as we have come, O oh Lord. We thank you for the people who are here. We thank you for the people who are tuned in. We just bless your holy name, Father. We give you all the praise and all the glory give you all the honor we dedicate this service into your hands we dedicate this time into your hands oh lord take absolute control we surrender all to you today father for in jesus name we pray amen hallelujah just say hello to someone else before you sit down just say hello to someone else just welcome people to church and please welcome Paul Chisholm, one nation and Bristol. hallelujah church just keep standing as we give god some praise and worship this morning hallelujah bless the lord oh my soul and all that is within me bless his holy name is that how you feel this morning can you just lift your hands and say bless the lord bless the lord oh my soul oh my soul and all and all that is with me bless his holy name bless his holy all of others room sing i the Lord oh my soul oh my soul and all that is within me worship your father yeah bless his holy name bless his holy can you lift both hands up this morning while we're singing one time say yeah I will oh my Say, he has done great things. Say, he 
this room give God praise put your hands together and what a broke right now can you add a shout and give God praise if God has really done great things I need it to be a little more radical this morning am I at the waterbrook church somebody come on give God praise uh-huh so this morning we're gonna go some afro are you ready uh-huh are you ready church before we start I need to see some movement hey oh yeah everybody say yeah 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 When they see me, they come to the gym from my side And they say, see you live, now it's a depressing part When they sign them, I beg you sign them Now we know what you got, did they do for my life We go sing, we go dance, we go do it, bitch You know, sign them, I beg you sign them You say now When they see me, they come to the gym from my side And they say, see we live, now it's a depressing part When they sign them, hey, I beg you sign them Now you say now we know what you got in the do for me life We go sing, we go dance, we go look at the beat With the sand them, hey, let's go I'll be your sweet, let's go No, hey Oh, you know Pa, ba, da, 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 da Ba, 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 pa, da, 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 da Oh, you know Pa, ba, da, 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 da Then they want to say After all the things I've been through I still get depressed Then they look at me like the fool low And they dance and jump around Think say I'm crazy hey. Oh yeah, say Then they want to say Then they want to say After all the things After all the things I've been through I still get depressed Oh yeah, now you can join us this morning Then they look at me like the fool low And they dance and jump around Praise God, did they happy yo? Oh. When we praise God, did they happy yo? Oh. Hey, so we go give up the praise of God. I want to dance like the video. Make you put on your dancing shoes. Hey, for the good things that you dare do. Do for me, do for you. Do for me, do for you. Let's go now. Boy, follow me, praise my God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, never be chased Hallelujah, never on. Follow me, praise my God, Hallelujah. Hallelujah, never be chased on. Hey, one more time, say, come follow me, praise my God, Hallelujah. Hallelujah, never be chased on. Hey, everybody say, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, you say, Hallelujah, never stop. Hallelujah, never stop. Hallelujah, every day. Hallelujah, hey. Say, Hallelujah, never stop. Hallelujah, never stop. Hallelujah, never sound. Hallelujah, every day. Hallelujah, hey. Break it down, break it down, break it down. Aha. One, two, three, you say. Hey, 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 hey. Hallelujah, hey! Hallelujah, hey! One more time! 
Dio sceni Jo 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 Say, fa la la, fa la la, fa la la, fa la la. Let's do some more, Ricky. Are you ready? Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. 
grateful heart with a song of praise with an outstretched arm yeah i bless your name with a grateful heart with a song of praise with an outstretched arm i'll bless your name so with a grateful heart with a grateful heart with a song of praise Arm, yeah. Lord, I'll bless your name. Bless your name. With a grateful heart, do I have grateful people in here? With a song of praise, with an outstretched arm, yeah. Say, I'll bless your name. Running out. 
yeah. When my life lay down, I surrender. Hey, I give you everything. Tell him, with my life, when my life lay down, I surrender. I give you everything. With my life lay down, I surrender. I give you everything. Only goodness I see, yeah, yeah. Yes, is running after. It's running after. Your mercies I see each day, yeah. Yes, is running after. It's running after me. So my life, you have been faithful. Sing it to him. All my life, you have been so. So good every breath, every breath that I am, I will sing, I will sing of the goodness of God. Church will sing it one more time. Put your hands lift up. Say, all my life you have been faithful. So good with every breath that I am able, and I will sing, I will sing of the goodness of God. I see. and dispels every darkness oh God we come before you this morning in adoration in worship we thank you God for your presence in this place we thank you for your spirit that rests inside each and every one of us we thank you oh God because this is your day to show yourself and take all the glory we come before you father may your name be glorified in this place oh God we thank you for the spirit of thanksgiving oh god we thank you because in our hearts we lift you high and the word of god says that if i be lifted i i will draw all men unto myself so in this service there is a lifting up of the children of god to everyone that is here in the name of the lord the lord is lifting you up as you lift up his name in prayer take your place oh god we bless your name faithful god we thank you oh god who always shows up for your children whenever your people gather in spirit and in truth you show up and so we see you in this service oh god doing that which only you can do touching lives hey, healing 
we worship you oh God and we give you free reign today that you will glorify your name and you will do that which only you can do thank you Abba Father thank you Father as you touch everyone as you heal everyone as you enlighten everyone as you respond to everyone that has called upon your name Father we worship you thank you Holy Spirit in Jesus name we prayed Amen. Amen. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning and welcome to church. What a beautiful day. What a beautiful couple. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please welcome your neighbors. Welcome five people. Just worship. Welcome them to the presence of the Lord today. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we bless your name. Father, we thank you. Oh, what a celebratory service. We give you praise, oh God. Amen. Amen. And very quickly, we'd like to take our offering. As you can imagine, God has a lot in store for us today. So much. So much. And let me just quickly say this before we take the offering. As, I, as we're worshiping the Lord. Uh, I just sense very strongly in my spirit and I, and I hope that you will key into it that if you can open your heart if you, can be, if you can be sincere with God and give him pure worship today that is going to lift you up and you'll be able to testify so you won't say oh it was just a thanksgiving service but you will also have a thanksgiving te um, testimony to share in Jesus name so please let's take our, um, our offerings and our tithe the, the account information are on the screen. I want you to just reach into your wallet. I want you to give to God that which will cost you something. I want you to give to God. Let's just pray over the offering. Father, we thank you, O oh God, because out of the abundance that you have given to us, we bring to you, O oh God. And some people will say, well, it's not out of the abundance that I have, but out of the little. But we know with you, oh God, that it doesn't matter. But so far as we give to you from our heart and we give to you that which costs you something. Father Lord, we thank you and we, 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 just, we just pray over these offerings, oh God. And those that are making transfers, those that are writing checks, or those that are deciding in their hearts that I don't have now, but I know that I'm going to send something in the course of the week or in the, you know, in the course of the day. Father Lord, we commit all of this into your hands and we pray your blessings over it, oh God. That everywhere this money is coming from, oh God, that there will be multiplication. For everyone that gives to the Lord and to the work of the Lord that they will never lack anything good and we remember anyone that is not able to give today that indeed this will be the last day ever in your life that you will not be able to give because the Lord is breathing upon us that spirit of wealth and prosperity and is bringing us into a place of abundance by his own spirit in the name of Jesus thank you father thank you Lord in Jesus name we've prayed amen hallelujah thank you, Jesus. good morning church now that don't sound like waterbrook to me hello come on come on come on good morning church okay i feel like we're still a little cold somehow i feel like the energy is not quite where it needs to be waterbrook can you take 15 seconds and give god some crazy praise at the top of your lungs for what he is doing come on the bible says enter his gates with thanksgiving and enter his courts with praise can we enter into the gates right now and scream hallelujah amen welcome to church just just you know give your neighbor a fist bump and say welcome to a very special thanksgiving sunday Okay, pick another neighbor, the one that you didn't like, you must love them today. Say welcome to a very special Thanksgiving Sunday. Amen. This is the Waterbrook Church. If you're joining us for the very first time, we're so happy to have you. And if you don't have a home church, please check us out. You understand? Hallelujah. Welcome to the Waterbrook. This is, uh, it's not a typical Sunday service because today mercy is blessed. Hey, today is about have mercy on PB. 
I know, I know I'm supposed to be doing announcements and things, but can we celebrate Mercy Chinwo and Pastor Bless, Minister Mercy? Um, we had an amazing time in Port Harcourt. So we decided to just do extra thanksgiving because you know you can't thank God enough for what he's doing. Amen? So it's going to be an amazing day. We have some very special ministers we're going to we're not even going to spend so much time doing anything else other than praising and thanking and worshiping god because that's who today is really about amen so a couple of quick announcements where's my waterbrook farm okay waterbrook you already know what this is so help me on tuesday at 7 p.m we have upper room it's a time we come together in the upper room and we seek the face of god in prayer and forget about the cool trousers and things that we wear. Waterbrook is a house of prayer. Amen. So on Tuesdays at 7 p.m. we have upper room. On Wednesdays at 7 p.m. we have what? At the table. At the table. At the table is a time we get together and really dig into the scriptures. Because you know on Sunday mornings you can't really ask questions. You don't really get to interact as much. But on Wednesdays at 7 p.m. we dig deep. And we always mix it up. Sometimes it's a group of people. Sometimes it's Pinoski. You know, it's different things going on every Wednesday at 7 p.m. But please join us during the week. And then on Sundays, of course, you are here with us. Amen. Amen. And then I believe there is an amazing conference. Where are all my ladies? Ladies, where you make some noise. No, that I need an estrogen praise. Ladies, make some noise. Okay. Ladies, something special just for you. On September 23rd to 25th, there is the House of Freedom Women for Change Conference. Is it up? Okay, the screen, the screen is, is being a bit dodgy, but it is going to be an amazing time. Ladies, please, please don't miss this. Ministers, as they take the level of the service up another notch, please make some noise, show some love for Brookstone and One Nation. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mercy is blessed indeed. <laughs> is he not an incredible God? a garment you stretch the heaven like a curtain i will sing the wonders of your grace oh my god my savior redeemer oh my god jehovah jireh who is worthy to receive all the blessings and glory Jesus, you are, you're my God. Hey, 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 hey. God, oh, so you are name above all names forever. My heart will proclaim that you are.
are seated in heaven and you make the earth your full soul. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, you are bigger. You are bigger. You are bigger. Yeah. You are. You are. Yeah. You are. you Brookstone God bless you thank you so much can we appreciate them can we also appreciate Paul Chisholm for leading us into the presence of God Paul Chisholm God bless you Mirabel God bless you Brookstone one nation um, ladies and gentlemen while we were entering the presence of God some very special people entered our presence in this hall and uh, it would be remiss of me to not stop the proceedings and give honor to whom honor is due. You know, the mark of a true leader is not how many followers he has. It's how many leaders he creates. And uh, while we were worshiping God, my father and mother in the Lord, Pastor Tony Rappu, Mrs. Nkoyo Rappu walked into the building. So can we just appreciate the grace of God on their lives? Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, Ma. And in that same spirit, let's appreciate the HOF Council. Pastor Jude is here. The entire HOF family, thank you so much. You know, the Waterbrook is uh, a house underneath the house. Amen. We're part of the House of Freedom family. Um, you know, the Waterbrook Church is an expression of the House of Freedom along with this present house, along with the Potter's House, along with God Bless Nigeria, along with so many other ministries. So we appreciate the grace of God on your life, Sa and Ma, and Sa's and Ma's and everybody. Amen. Okay, moving swiftly along, ladies and gentlemen, we have a very special treat this morning. We have an amazing minister of music. I'm not even sure if she's been to the Waterbrook before, has she? No, this is for the very first time in the Waterbrook Church. 
and ladies and gentlemen today is her birthday so she took time out of her birthday to be here to celebrate with us can we please show some waterbrook love some waterbrook welcome love to the one the only minister ada ehi thank you so much for being here with us god bless you hallelujah hallelujah oh praise the lord thank you so much for that warm welcome it's an honor to be here as a matter of fact it's always an honor to stand before god's children it is my highest honor thank you so much sister mercy Oh, first of all, good morning, Pastor Tony. Good morning, Ma. Thank you for the privilege. Hallelujah. Thank you, Pastor Banky. Thank you, Pastor Blessed. Sister Mercy, why are you doing it like this? I should behave, I should. <laughs> you know how to look for people's trouble. Why are you begging me? <laughs> Praise the Lord! It's an honor to be here to celebrate with you people. Beautiful honor. When the Lord does something, He sustains it. This is my 13th year, going to 14th year in marriage, right? Bobo. Yes, yes. And you see, marriage is not a scam that's a big lie that's a big lie everything the lord does he doesn't just sustain it he renews it you see the best part of my day is going home getting home to talk with my husband of course apart from when you pray but then having a chat with my husband nothing tops that nothing tops that so you're welcome to a marriage of bliss grace as the lord does it yeah. praise the lord i have seen the lord's goodness his mercy and compassion i have seen the lord's goodness hallelujah praise the lord do i have worshipers in the house yeah. have you seen the lord's goodness his mercies and compassion have you seen the Lord's goodness? Hallelujah. I want you to hear you sing. Say, I have seen the Lord's goodness, His mercies and compassion. I have seen. Hallelujah. One more time. You say, I have seen. and compassion I have seen the Lord's goodness hallelujah so you sing for your family say we have seen you say we have seen the Lord's goodness his mercies and compassion we have seen the Lord's goodness oh hallelujah then as a church, you sing it one more time. You say, we have seen the Lord's goodness, His mercies and compassion. We have seen. Hallelujah. For with my mouth will I make known. Are we giving thanks? your faithfulness your faithfulness with my mouth with my own mouth will i declare your faithfulness to all 
So I will sing of the mercies of the Lord. sing you turn to your neighbor of the mercies you will sing say with your mouth with your mouth His faithfulness with His mouth will you make known His faithfulness through all generations? So we will sing all the mercies of. So we sing praises to your name. How many people are grateful? Oh Lord, praises to your name. Oh Lord, for your name, for your name is great.
of how your story changed. Now we dance with you of how your story changed. See how beautiful you are, my sister. Beautiful, beautiful. Everybody here, are you with me? You will tell your story of how your story changed. It might not look like it right now. We will hear your story of how you overcame. Wave your hands in. to you. Tell five people congratulations. Special request. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Tell five people how many congratulations do you want? The number of high five you give. <laughs> hey, your testimonies are bound beyond your high five. Let's go. I have a message for you. Oh. Mercy. God has sent me to you. Oh. I have a message for you. Oh. Jehovah Chide. Give me tempo, give me tempo before I turn it to worship. I have a message for you. God has sent me to you. Can you tell somebody? Say, I have a message for you. Jehovah Jireh sent me. What's the message?
Valencia or God, oh. Nobody, nobody. Who can kidnap your God, oh? I say nobody. In many ways, in many years, I have seen his faithfulness forever, ever you will hear. Song, oh, oh, oh. You will sing a new I song. I say, sing. I say, you will sing a new song. Oh, oh, oh. You will sing a new song. Sing I see you, I see song. you dance a new dance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You will sing Somebody. a new song. Sing. Hey, I see you dance a new dance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You will sing a new song. Hey. Sing a new you song. will carry your baby, carry your baby. You will sing a new song. Sing. You will carry your baby. your seats please just say happy birthday birthday. say we love you you. I say we have your cake we actually have your cake it's in the back on your way I know you can't stay but thank you so much round of applause let's let's appreciate the grace of God on minister Ada thank you so much sis um thank you so much everyone who's having a good time in the house of God today are we blessed this morning Are we blessed this morning? You see what I just did? Um, The next person I'm going to bring uh, to the front, actually, before I talk about him, let me just give you a bit of background. You know, the Bible says, to some he gave apostles, to some he gave pastors and teachers and prophets. For what? 
the equipping of the saints for the work of ministry. Amen? And so when we say, you know, make some noise for the ministers, we're not talking about the people in the front row. Because everybody here is a minister. Amen? And you know, some pastors just raise pastors. And there's nothing wrong with that. But we have a father in Pastor Tony that has raised pastors and generals and politicians and businessmen and people who are influencing and impacting the world. And I'm one of his sons. Amen? And Pastor Blessed is one of his sons. And so it is my great pleasure to bring up, to bless us at the Waterbrook again, another one of Pastor Tony's sons. He is the resident pastor of this present house. And so you know, those are very big shoes to fill. But he carries a grace and an anointing and a power that is resident inside of him. Ladies and gentlemen, please give honor to whom honor is due. To Pastor Jude Woko. My leader, sir. Welcome. Amen. Please be seated. Hallelujah. Is this a great day? If it is, say amen like you mean it. Uh, and your father sits and say you should stand and talk. Words will leave your mouth. So can you pray for me in 30 seconds? <laughs> and, and this linted was designed for him. Uh, yes, yeah, so I would. <laughs> uh, it's okay. Yes. Pastor Bless is my brother. Yes. And we are glad to welcome our wife, <laughs> Sister Messi. Congratulations to the both of you. All right. I have a few minutes and I would like to stick quickly to my brief. Yeah. Today we want to look at. A very, a very, very popular scripture in Luke chapter 17. I like to read from, read like three verses from um, 15 down to 17, right? Uh, there's something Banky said. I call him Bishop Banks. <laughs> uh, something he said, the thing he said that's so profound that there are people you, your path will cross with. And your life cannot remain the same. There are places that if you even stumble, I, I see a lot of friends and family visiting, you just stepped into destiny. You, you didn't believe that, amen. Now you say that, amen, like you believe it. I said you just stepped into destiny. You just, okay, maybe you were not hearing before. The mic was not working this great. I said you just stepped into destiny. This is the House of Freedom and this is the Waterbrook Church. <laughs> Come on, Waterbrook, make some noise. <laughs> now, now, when you step in here, you are indeed free. And when you collide with a man such as our paps, there's something that leaps on you. The same DNA I share, my brother shares. That's why today, mercy is blessed. <laughs> Amen. Luke chapter 17. I said I'll stick to the script. I'll, be, I'll behave myself. Verse 15. One of them, when he saw he was healed, came back. Praising God in a loud voice. Luke 17 verse 16 now. He threw himself at Jesus' feet and thanked him. And he was a Samaritan. Verse 17. Jesus asked where not all ten cleansed where are the other nine and verse 18 has no one returned to give praise to god except this foreigner and verse 19 jesus then said rise and go your faith has made you well there's a translation it's king james the authorized King James says, your faith has made you whole. Now, because if you've been in church for a minute, you would know the story. I will not dwell on the history of it. But let me assume that there's someone who is just reading it for the first time. Jesus was moving between Samaria. He was coming from Bethany and was moving to the Samarian region, Samaritan region. And he, at the gate of the city, 
he stumbled across 10 lepers the history and the tradition of that is that if you are a leper in the days that Jesus existed because leprosy had no medical cure right you are bunched and taken and thrown outside the city now these 10 men were victims of who they were they were victims of their own circumstances they were the victims they, they were in pain not only were they in pain they were ostracized they were pushed out but because you know the mercies of God knows no boundaries right they collided paths with Jesus and in the earlier verses they screamed Jesus master have mercy on us and Jesus turned to the ten of them and said to them go and show yourself to the high priest now if for any stroke of chance as a leper you got a healing the only person that could certify you fit indeed to reintegrate back to the society was the high priest i don't know whether he was a doctor but some way he found a way to do it and so that movement was already an act of faith these 10 guys they were they were we said they were shut out but god said jesus said to them go show yourself to the priest why they invoked the mercy side of god they called up the mercy nature the powers of compassion of the most high and he responded to them that movement meant that they were really certified to appear before the priest and as they went as jesus had said the act of going to show yourself to the priest meant you were healed but the manifestation took place on the path of obedience and they found out that they were healed they were made they were healed what that meant was that all the things that were eating the leprosy whatever that was eating up their fingernails and their toenails and their skin receded stopped and they received healing i guess nine of them were probably jews entitled as they were they ran away i'm not sure they even went to show themselves to the high priest the bible did not give us any record of that you know the excitement of an answered prayer the the the, the rush of joy when god meets that thing you have been waiting on god for what's in a thanksgiving but one man recognized that hey there was a time these people i'm rushing to go and celebrate with there was a time even they themselves cut me off and he said i will go look for the guy who gave the instruction in the first place because that guy is the real high priest so the bible says that he turned around and started tracking jesus in the times of jesus there were no gsms you had no intelligence to find out where he had moved to by the way he was moving when he issued the instruction so there must have been effort in seeking out where jesus was at the time we don't know how many days it took we don't know how many minutes it took but the man looked for jesus i guess i i could see him in my mind's eye when i read the bible i'm very imaginative I could see him going from village to village. It happened just outside Samaria. I could see him tracking back to Bethany, going to the next city of Galilee, and checking every nook and cranny, and he couldn't find him until he met him. The Bible says in, in verse 15 that this guy threw himself at, the, at Jesus' feet. And he said, Master, like you said it, it has happened. And Jesus said, were they not ten? Where are the nine? You know, many times when we come to God, first and foremost, because we come to God because some of us came to God because of one pain or the other. Right? And the promise that was made to us was that he has all the answers. 
and, and he came he came through and the danger and where Pastor Bless and Sister Mercy are smart are, out, are smart in a lot of Christians today is the danger is for you to quickly move on to the next prayer request you don't say wahala not they finish sorry if you're watching us from outside the country you don't know what I just said you can contact Minister Mercy she would explain it to you you know it's a Port Harcourt Palace we Okay, well, how they finish means life is full of endless troubles, right? For one on the heels of others, of, of the other. So at every point in time, even though the reason we came to God is not exactly for him, for prayer to be a tool for him to meet her needs. We came to God so that as we behold him face to face, unveiled, we become transformed like he is. But in the midst of the transformation, because his word is a double-edged sword, one part of it is dealing with our past pain and the consequences of sin. The other part is restoring us back to the very image of God. This double-edged sword is constantly at work in us. We must stop to recognize that there is a high priest that gave the word that we obeyed and that brought us to where we are anytime God answers your prayer and you don't stop to thank him that is arrogance you know why it's arrogance I'll tell you why listen the truth is God, Jesus was asking where are the nine it's not because he 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 derives anything from you praising him see when you praise god you don't make him more god than he already is god is god all by himself the bible says he sits on the throne of jasper he the 24 silver bearded elders are constantly casting their crowns at his feet he is not man he doesn't need anything to exalt him his throne is already exalted but when you when you give god praise remember what he said the bible says that he he turned and ran towards him with a loud voice the qualities of your praise if you're really thankful it must be loud it must be long and that's how you sustain the victory that the lord has given to you because the idea of the victory in the first place is not to satiate your own desire the idea of the victory in the first place is to turn your attention to him and if that victory does not gain your your does he does not gain your attention by it then the aim is defeated that's why jesus said we are there not ten where are the nine what god was saying i intended to get the attention of ten people i thank god you came to celebrate with my brother and my sister but i'm asking you when last did you take a video to thank god for all that he has been doing in your life i know 99 things are not working but what about the 1901 things that he has been doing that have been working all through is it a good time for you to stand on your feet and wave your hands at him and say lord i thank you for the things you have done skin was even better than it was if you knew how it was before the leprosy came and what that meant for the leper was that all the things that he lost while he was at the city gate all the business deals he could not close everything he could not gain the lord began to replenish for him why do we seek other things when the lord told us seek ye first kingdom and every other thing will be added unto you they have shown us an example and this will be a testament for you when you go back to your closet your life should be a life of daily thanksgiving and testimonies to god hallelujah amen i'd like to see, uh, thank you so much for standing i'd like to at this point um invite i was actually here to just invite him in the first place i was just giving 14 minutes to do that so i'd like to invite to come lift this new family before god and give all give them a father's blessing before all of us our set man the apostle over this commission dr tony raffle Come and give God praise. What a quiet church this morning. Someone lift your voice and shout, yeah! You may please be seated. <coughs> Pastor Jude, that's the longest introduction I've ever had. 
word and invitation. Thank you so much. What a privilege for me as a father to sit and listen wholeheartedly to one of your sons preach a powerful message. Many times people say it's their privilege for their sons to be greater than them, but sometimes they're paying lip service. But I am truly grateful for the grace, the capacity, the anointing, the hand of God and the mantle that rests upon you. May God raise you from one level of strength to another and from one level of glory to the other. And thank you so much, uh, Dr. Pastor Fajro, for being the woman to be here today to honor, to celebrate, to stand behind, to support, to pray for, to undergird, to surround with prayer and the blessings of God, one of my greatest sons, Pastor P. Blessed. And when the Bible says it's not good for a man to be alone, he was talking about be blessed. <laughs> Surely it wasn't good for you to be alone. And so we thank God that we're here to welcome a daughter and a wife into this house. Come on, let's welcome Mercy Blessed. So mercy, as we've all heard, is blessed. And blessed has received mercy from God. Come on, let's celebrate them. Let's celebrate them. Now please be seated. So we want to pray for you as we welcome you into this house and into the blessings and the favor of God. I want to thank uh, Pastor Bandy and the team who went to Port to bring her to bring her back. Thank you. you did a job well done. And so I want to thank the rest of the leaders here. P. Bishop Banks. <laughs> but I had someone call you the bishop or something. <laughs> Pastor Susan, God bless you. And the rest of the team, Nike, Nosa, Passion, Tosi. And, um, well done for an amazing work you, you leaders are doing. I don't hear that was one of your song is one of my favorite songs. I, I, I didn't know I I I I think there was a, an Instagram post where I'd done that song and someone sort of tagged you and I thought mm, that's nice, but I, I just heard from people, from um, Pastor Jew that that was your song. Thank you for being a blessing to the body of Christ. And we wish you a happy birthday. We wish God, we, we pray God's favor upon your life, God's blessing, God's anointing. May God take you from another level to another level of grace and glory and may his favor be upon you and may he grant you the desires of your heart may he bless you in every way may he be a glory in your midst and a fire around about you may your family be blessed may everything you touch truly be blessed may men look and see the glory of god over your life and may he give you many more songs may he make you a minstrel that would stand before him receive songs and use those songs to minister to his people you're blessed daughter of god amen Minister Paul Chisholm, let's honor him. Minister Coco Feely, come on, let's welcome Coco Feely. I thought, Mirabel, that was awesome. Brookstone, you guys are still rocking. You guys still rock. <laughs> So, who else, who have I missed out? B 
but he's a business he's a businessman millionaire maybe he wants us to say millionaire tomes so tomes nice to have you here and i want to welcome everyone who's coming to the waterbrook for the first time and i think today yes, i'm sure you've, you've done that but I, I think today is very very special to have so many sons here under one roof and to have two works or two houses as it were in the same premises i think there's something very special that's going on today and i know that the heavens are open over us today amen so thank you for that very powerful word um, pastor jude so today uh, mrs r my wife and i would want to pray for for both of you and speak god's favor over your lives and speak god's increase and you know we want to pray for the glory of god to surround you and we want to pray that god will take you to the next level of what he has in store for you and um i want to prophesy on you as well there's a scripture i think it's in exodus um, 23 where god told israel that um i have an inheritance for you i'm taking you to a land full of milk and honey I'm taking you to a land where there'll be favor, there'll be good things, a land of the Hittites, the Amorites, the Hevites. I'm going to give you blessings. I will remove sickness. I'll remove disease. But then God says, I, I won't give it all to you at once. He says, I'll give it to you little by little. But then he says, but the moment you come to a certain place of increase, you would come into your inheritance so i know that there is an inheritance god has laid in store for you there's something you're coming into an increase has come to give you capacity to move into that to that next level of inheritance so man of god get ready god's grace is upon you god's favor is upon you amen and then for for the ministers i like to also i mean share a charge so i think today is very special thanksgiving for be blessed and mercy at the same time a charge to the young people so maybe i'll give the charge first and them and it's a charge because um, i'm not preaching like you would and i i thank you so much for that message but i want to give a charge having two sons and not just two sons having p banks and many other sons in the house i want to share a charge and then pray for the couple and then release something upon the house and what makes mercy so special today you know i have an iphone and you know how, how iphone takes pictures from your gallery and puts on the screen every so often so this week this weekend i think thursday or friday would you believe the picture that came up on my screen was a picture of mercy and i hugging after an event here a couple of years ago so i thought what a sign what a sign i have to show you that picture so that told me that something special was going to happen here today you're welcome our dear daughter you're welcome so before we pray let me just share a few thoughts to the ministers and then i would speak into the lives of P blessed and mercy and P banks this is this is a word i want to share with the leaders especially coming here and seeing so many young people i am privileged as i mean P banks you said it twice i'm privileged to be someone who god has called to replicate myself in fact god has always said to me i will lift you as high as you are able to raise others high so to the extent you raise people and release them so would i also keep raising you high and i want to share a story from second samuel second samuel 21 it's a well done story but if you remember When David fought Goliath, he came and heard the cursings of Goliath. The atmosphere was charged with curses. 
David was a young boy, had seven brothers. He was the youngest. But he gets to the battlefield just delivering food to his brothers and heard Goliath cursing and told Saul, as you know, I would take on this giant. The Israelites, the soldiers were afraid. They were saying, there is a giant that has come against Israel. But David's perspective was different. He said, who is this uncircumcised Philistine? He didn't call him a giant. He called him an uncircumcised Philistine that had come to defy, not Israel. He said, the armies of the living God. So his perspective was very different because he was from a different generation. And what David did that was so powerful was he tried to put on the armor of Saul. Saul tried to give him armor he had not tested. And he said, this is not going to work for me. Let me use what God has given to me. And he went to the brook and picked up five stones. Why did he pick up five stones? There are many reasons, many stories we've heard. But one of the stories on why David picked up five stones is found in this scripture. Because only one stone was needed to take care of Goliath. And there would not have been enough time had he missed to try a second stone. So here in 2 Samuel 21, in verse 15, it says, When the Philistines were at war again with Israel, David and his servants with him went down and fought against the Philistines. And David was a little tired. He grew exhausted. He grew faint. Then Ishbibinob, who was of the giants, the son of the giants, the weight of whose bronze spear was 300 shekels, who was bearing the new sword, thought, let me take on David. But Abishai, the son of Zeruiah, came to his aid and struck the Philistine and killed him. Then the man of David swore to him, saying, You shall not go, you shall go out no more with us to battle, lest you quench the lamp of Israel. Now it happened afterward that there was a battle with the Philistines at Gob. Then Sibekai the Hushite killed Saf, who was one of the sons of the giant. Again there was war at Gob with the Philistines, where Elhanan, with the sons of Jare Oregim the Bethlehemite, killed the brother of Goliath, the Gittite, the shaft of whose spear was like a weaver's beam. Yet again, there was a war at Gath. Life is full of battles, as Pastor Jude just told us. Where there was a man of great stature. I like the story, this, this verse, best of all. A man of great stature who had six fingers on each hand, six toes on each foot, 24 in number. And he was also born to the giant in Gath. That giant, if you can count, Goliath had four brothers. So when David picked up five stones, one stone was for a giant. It was a prophetic symbol that my call is to take down giants, but not just that I will take down giants, I would raise people who can also take down giants. So that David was not the only giant killer in Israel. David had so many giant killers around him. And I like this last giant killer, this man who took on the giant with 24 fingers and toes. When he defied Israel in verse 21, Jonathan, the son of Shimei, David's brother, killed him. So this was a young boy. This was David's nephew taking on a giant bigger than Goliath. And oftentimes we celebrate David's killing Goliath. But this boy, Shimei, no, Jonathan, not Jonathan, David's friend. This was another Jonathan. So what's my message today as I see these young men and women in front of me? That God has called you to be giant killers. 
So in a sense, I am grateful that I am a David in my generation. I've taken on my bears. I've taken on my lions. I've taken on my Goliaths. But now, God is saying, there are other giants in the land. There's a Shpibinob. So where is this man called Abishai? And that was, we're praying this morning with a team. And I said to them, my burden is that God will raise us Abishais and Jonathans. God will raise us men and women who can bring deliverance to this nation, who can bring direction to the church, who can open up dimensions in music, who can open up doors in business. But sometimes David wants to fight every battle. Well, a time came where David had to be quiet so that others could shine. And so Pastor Jude, P. Banks, and also the rest of the team, there is an army of people who are waiting and they are giants in the land. Today, it's a thanksgiving, but it's also an anointing service for the brothers, no, for the men that David is raising to take on Goliath. And David understood this principle. David made a mistake with Bathsheba. But if you remember the strategy with which he asked them to take care of Uriah he said send Uriah to battle and then we draw the men around him let him be the only one fighting if you're the only one fighting the enemy will take you out so we must learn to fight with strong men around us so whenever you saw David you saw fighting men and so a lot of men of God are like Moses Moses parted the Red Sea. Moses brought water from the rock. Moses wrote the first five books of the Bible. Moses saw God face to face. But Moses did not enter the promised land. Why? Because everything he did was under the power of the great man of God. His own personal anointing. He didn't know how to raise people. So everywhere he went, you saw Moses. It was Moses alone you saw. And one day he went to Canada. There's still 180 million who must find their destinies here, whom giants have come against. So people are praying, where is God? Oh God, help us. God himself is praying, oh God, where is David? Give me David. Give me a man who can take on giants. And give me a man who can raise giant killers. You're a giant killer, man of God. You're a David, man of God. And God has brought help. God has brought strength. God has brought grace. It's a wonderful season. So what a book. We thank God for this present house giving us this place on loan. But you can have your hall back. We're moving out. I say we're moving out of here. Because when I drove in here this morning, I was, I, my mind was, okay, let them stop there. Oh, it's time. No, no, I thought, oh, no. It's here. We need to be on our own premises. There's enough people here, Pastor Bless. There, is, there are enough people here to build us the kind of location that God wants us to have. How many of you agree with me? So let's go back to the principles that we were brought up on. Training, praying, revelation, insight, warfare, utterance, strength of character. And so as God blesses you in this season, we're praying, as Pastor Jude said, that the next assignment, the reason why he has brought a wife to you at this time 
is what we will see in manifestation. That's what we're looking out for. When John the Baptist sends a message to Jesus, are you the one that cometh? Or do we look for another? He said, tell John what you can see. Tell him the things he prophesied are happening around me. And that's the testament. That's the testimony of the hand of God upon a man. We want to see the carcasses of bears and lions around you. We want to see the, the dead body of Goliath around you. And we want to see giants falling around you. This morning I was laughing at one of the men of God. I said, I want to see that you are supposed to be a giant killer, but they've made you a lizard killer. So stop chasing lizards and go for the lions and the bears. This generation is destined to do something great. Man of God, please step forward. We want to pray for you. Dear, please join me. Oh, Okay, so that was my charge. That was my charge. But now, please stand in front of us. But now, stand in front, yes, yes. In front, yes, face us, yes. And, uh, yes. And now is the time for a oil. It's time for the mantle. There's something God is going to do today. We're going to place, it's like angels are all around us. It's like there's a shield of fire around about you. But please sit down. I, I want us to, to change it from the giant killing charge to a pastoral dimension. I had a day he said we've been married for 13 years. My dear, how long have we been married? 35. 15. Ours is 35. And... Um, when I married her, she was 26. I, I just turned 30. I, I married the girl of my dreams. You know, I, I went to... Um, I, was, I was preaching, I was speaking at a wedding and I was to give the, the sermon. It was a Baptist church and... Uh, priest, the, the method, the, the Baptist preacher who joined the couple was now doing the vow. He said, uh, say after me, for better, for worse. The guy said, for better, for best. The pastor said, for, he thought maybe he made a mistake, for better, for worse. He said, for better, for bestest. <laughs> he made a point. So he said, for richer, for poorer. He said, for richer, for richest. So do you know, it cost a stare. I think he'd never seen a couple determined to resist him like that. They said, we would not make any negative confession today. So when it was my time, so and that's how they did the, um, the, the, how they took the vows. When it was my time for me to speak, then I sort of, I spoke on the love of God. I spoke on the greatest benefit of the love of God is when we go through the trials of life as a couple and that sometimes God will test our love with the challenges of life and that life would always throw issues at us is how we respond to these issues that determines how as a couple we would survive the challenges of life. You see, people want to fall in love, which is beautiful. But the kind of love people are looking for in marriage doesn't exist in the Bible. The butterfly love 
the feelings we have when we meet people are beautiful but science tells us that that is just to bring chemistry between a man and a woman is to bring a certain kind of connection that attraction but that's not what sustains marriage because in many marriages six months a year two years that feeling disappears and that's where real love kicks in a love that has made up its mind to stick with one person regardless of situations a love that's not self-seeking a love that gives a love that decides this is the person I'm going to live with all the days of my life and what makes it interesting is when this true love kicks in gradually the first love comes back and that's what sustains couples and have you noticed people say these couples are beginning to look alike is that love is that is actually a glow it's something spiritual it's true love that makes them begin to look alike <sighs> let me say something i can see banky and his wife <laughs> Well, special greetings to the Waterbrook Church. And I'm going to pretend Pastor Jude and Dr. Fejira are not here. You're really my best church. <laughs> when, when, but the dome is my father's church. <laughs> so it's such a special occasion today and there's the weight of God's presence here clearly, clearly and his glory that means that the couple we're about to pray for clearly have an endorsement from God and I have been on this joyful journey with Pastor Blessed of searching in intercession and in communication for a wife so it is my special honor and privilege to be able to, alongside Pastor Tony, welcome Lady Mercy. <laughs> I always have to give everybody that comes close enough a pet name. So welcome, Ne. You're welcome. And I would... Yesterday, 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 I was somewhere close by. We had a meeting when she was talking to both of you. And I heard her ask you what soup you were cooking. <laughs> what soup were you cooking? Was it uh, uh, yam pottage of <laughs> That was so wonderful. And we had to warn Mercy not to make not to make Pastor Blessed bigger than he is. <laughs> <laughs> so I'd like to start by giving you both a hug. So it's a joy to welcome you to the House of Freedom and to say how special you both are. And I think Pastor Tony said everything I'd love to say about marriage, but I would like to add something. In the book of Matthew, it says, if any two shall agree as touching anything, I would do. On your own, you have been great. You've done well. But as you come into marriage, that scripture begins to be fulfilled. That if any two, if you can stand, no matter what the storms, I mean, storms of life don't mean a bad prediction. It's just the way life is. There are mountains, there are valleys, there are, there are windy pathways and there are straight pathways. But he gives grace through the journey. If you would stay together in his presence, regardless of how you feel and how the responses to the situations in life are, then nothing shall be able to stand between you. When they were going to build the Tower of Babel, God looked and said, if we allow them, they would. 
That means when you are in unity, the sky doesn't limit you. So God bless you and bring you into the unfolding rhythm of his grace, joy, peace, praise, and presence in Jesus' name. And anytime I think of you both now, the words blessed and mercy have special meaning. For blessed found favor with God and mercy, and mercy is blessed because she found blessed, <laughs> or blessed found her. <laughs> okay, please know them. I'm going to ask um, Vika Bandi, Mrs., uh, Pastor Mrs. Bali, please join us. Where are the other elders who are here? Pastor Babo and uh, Pastor Tooks, please join us. Pastor Kichi, join us as well. Any other elders there? join us yes since you are here join us and um where are the pastors here please join us let's all sort of oh okay minister day please join us as well is your husband here where is he Open. Oh. okay where is minister joe praise Please just surround us, just come around, come closer so we get a sense of, we, we want to shield them, please surround, let's surround them completely, let's surround them, representative of a, of a wall of fire, God is going to be a glory in their midst and a fire, right? yeah, just surround about them, yes please, so let's just pray for them, let's pray in the spirit, oh, hey, shalabrokoba father, let's speak God's fire upon them God's favor God's honor God's blessings let's release utterances on their behalf let's speak into their future let's speak increase let's speak fruitfulness let's speak expansion enlargement let's speak territory taking let's speak prosperity Let's speak the good things that God has in store for them. The things he has prepared for them. Let us stand as the presbytery around them and speak the blessings of God. The Bible says we shall decree a thing and it shall be established. So we as elders, as leaders, as pastors and as ministers, we're here to declare. We're here to decree. We're here to proclaim, to announce that the set time of favor has come for this couple. That the anointing rests upon them and is breaking forth upon them today. Oh, shalala borina mosuka baki brakaba. Let's speak against the plans of the enemy around them. Let's decree that the enemy may come against them one way, but will flee in seven different directions when he sees the fire, the power, the glory, the honor, and the anointing that rest upon them. Oh, Shabahalabus Kabbalah. Let's, let's, as it were, release angelic assistance. Let's release honor, nobility, dignity. Let's call for children. Let's call for men and women around them. The seed of the righteous shall be blessed. We release the seed of these righteous ones. That God will strengthen their hands. That God will anoint them with a new anointing. Father, we thank you for the weight of your glory here. We thank you for your loving kindness and your tender mercies. We thank you, O oh God, for the blessings of your presence upon these two. Father God, 
I just pray according to Matthew 18, 18 and 19 that if these two shall stand before you in unity, in one accord and in oneness of purpose that you will use them for your kingdom and they would be unstoppable. You said to Joshua, as I was with Moses, I would be with you. And so we declare and decree in one accord that when they stand to proclaim, to declare and to pronounce in unity, in oneness of purpose, it shall be done unto them according to your perfect will. And so we bless you that the sky cannot limit them. We bless you for new pathways, new partnerships, new ventures, new, new, new ways in the realm of the Spirit that have opened up unto these people, unto blessed and mercy. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. And so I thank you. We bless you. In Jesus' name we pray. And so Father, we seal the prayers today with a father's blessing upon this couple the blessings of the deep the blessings of the body the blessings of the womb lord i decree that they are blessed coming in they are blessed going out they are blessed in the city they are blessed in the field the work of their hands are blessed they're blessed in the morning they're blessed at noonday they're blessed in the night Lord, let the blessings even unto the utmost bounds of the everlasting hills come upon them in the name of our Lord Jesus. Lord, open doors of favor for them. Lord, let men look at blessed and mercy and see the glory of God. Let both of them and you become a threefold cord that can never be broken. Lord, undergird them with strength. Support them help them encourage them lift them to a new level let it be said that their god fights on their behalf give them grace give them wisdom give them insight and revelation into the things you want to do in their lives and cause them almighty god to have testimonies day in and day out thank you our father Lord, the works of the enemy are broken over their lives in the name of our Lord Jesus. The glory shines over them. So Lord, thank you for this new generation of leaders. Lord, may this couple be tools in your hands to raise giant killers, to bring a new generation into a knowledge of the glory of God. Lord, give them men, give them women, give them strategies, give them insight into the building of men for the kingdom of God. Lord, we anoint them afresh today. But whatever he blessed, lays his hands upon, is blessed. He shall decree a thing, it shall be established. Whatever he binds on earth shall be bound in heaven. What he looses on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Lord, renew his strength. We kindle a fresh fire upon him. Lord, let this mantle of the apostolic rest upon him for the season that's yet to come. Thank you for your daughter. Thank you for the anointing that rests upon her. Even right now, Lord, let it flow like a fresh oil, like rivers of living water. We bless you, our Father. Glory, honor, power, and praise to the one who sits upon the throne and unto the Lamb. I want everyone in the house to lift your hands to God. And so, Lord, we raise our hands today, Lord. We place our hands upon the throne of Jehovah. We pull ourselves into the covenant of your grace, the covenant of your mercy, the covenant of your blessings. Let that which has happened here, let the prayers uttered here on behalf of blessed and mercy, let it be released into the lives of your children whose hands are lifted up in the name of our Lord Jesus. Lord, let it be said that today you came down and you healed, you delivered, you empowered. Let it be known that today you answered prayers. Father, even in this next season, 
strengthen these men and women and bring them into the place of their destiny in the name of our Lord Jesus Lord in spite of the challenges in spite of the difficulties in spite of the trials and tribulations make us men and women who can overcome raise overcomers in this church raise men and women who can stand and take down giants in the name of our Lord Jesus Father we bless you we glorify your name Thank you, our Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Come on, somebody give God some praise. That was nice, but that really wasn't praising God. So somebody give God some praise. Somebody give God some praise. Hallelujah. Are you tired? Somebody said yes in the back. <laughs> Amen. Thank you so much, Pastor Tony. Thank you, Mr. Pastor Nkoyo. Thank you, Pastor Jude. Thank you to the HOF family. Mrs. B, Pastor Bandy, Pastor NKG, everybody. Dr. Fejiro, thank you so much for blessing us today. Thank you so much. We celebrate you. Now, Waterbrook is we we. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is my pleasure to bring back to the stage somebody who is ready to give God some praise are you with me Waterbrook for the first time in the Waterbrook house the one and only a minister a vessel of God ladies and gentlemen celebrate your praise in the building thank you so much somebody make a joyful noise in this place come on you can't be making a joyful noise when you are seated. Somebody make a joyful noise. We they arrest you if you shout. I say make a joyful noise. Hallelujah. I have 10 minutes. Let me say something for just 10 seconds. Pastor Blessed, you will sing with me today. You are going to sing with me today. You cannot you cannot have a, a a full a full warehouse like this and you'll not be singing today we will hear you are we ready aha uh -huh. push it up 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 are we celebrating in this place today oh yeah aha uh aha -huh. aha uh -huh. somebody shout hallelujah so somebody scream! Ay 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 ay! Oh yeah, dance! Oh yeah, dance! Oh yeah, dance! Oh yeah, dance! Ah! Everybody dance! Everybody dance! Everybody dance! Everybody dance! Ay ay! I don't feel like that. Oh yeah! Everybody dance! Everybody dance! Everybody dance! Everybody dance! We serve a God who is powerful. We serve a God who is mighty. The hand of God is upon your hope. No shaking, no shaking. No shaking, no shaking. Don't say the Lord. My hand is up. We serve a God who is powerful. We serve a God who is mighty. This God is a good God. You can call him a miracle. Listen, every day you are so precious to me. I, in every day you are so faithful to me. Yo. I see your goodness. And my mouth will testify, hey, my papa. I will sing to you today. Hey, yo, 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 you can call him a miracle. Everybody, we serve a God who is powerful. Eh? Water Bruce, Water Bruce, show me your style. Show me how you do it here. Hoyana, come on. You can call him a miracle. Everybody, that's one, two, three. Let's go now. Aha! I feel it! Hoyadas! 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 Hoyad
I want to hear you shout the loudest shout of praise. Like you are going to lose your voice. Like you are going to lose your voice. Is that the shout you shout when you know that your week is settled? Your month is settled? Your future is settled? Somebody shout! Have you lost your voice here? Everybody right here, make a joyful noise! Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! Come on, let's put our hands together one more time as they come off the stage. God bless you. How are you staying? Okay, we're staying. Okay, so um, right about now, we haven't got much more time to go in the service. Are you having a beautiful time today? Are you having a great time today? Is your heart full of thanksgiving? Okay, so for anybody that came, um, you know, during the service, after, after we had done the offering, we got an op another opportunity to give your offering. Today is the day of Thanksgiving. You've come with your dance, you've come with your shout, you've come with your praise of songs. But if you'd also like to give Thanksgiving through your substance, we're going to put the um, details up on the screen right about now. Um, also, you know, the ushers are around in case you want to um, give via cash or POS. So this is your opportunity. When we come into the house of the Lord, let's always come with something. Because we are blessed, amen? amen? Mercy is blessed, right? Amen. But are you blessed as well? Amen. Will you not carry the blessing home with you as well? Amen. Praise the Lord. So we're just going to take a few moments to take um, offering and Thanksgiving offering now. And then I'm going to hand over the mic again to, to P. Banks. Can we put our hands together for P. Banks once again? Amen, amen, amen. So please, please give your Thanksgiving offering. God bless you. Uh, I said it earlier. Maybe you thought I was joking. I, I, I know you thought I was joking. But ladies and gentlemen, today is Minister Ada Ehi's birthday. And so we just want to celebrate her. Where's Mirabel? Mirabel, we want to sing happy birthday for, for Minister Ada Ehi. So... Uh, if we could all just rise and celebrate the amazing minister of God. She was a blessing to us today. And we got a cake. And we will uh, sing happy birthday to her together. I'll let Mirabel take it away. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, oh, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you, may the good Bless you. May the good Lord bless you. All the pastors, please, let's take a picture. May the good Lord bless you. May the good Lord bless you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Wow, Mirabel, is this your concert? God bless you, Minister Mirabel. Um, so we want you to cut the cake here, and we believe, and we celebrate your husband. And is that your daughter? Oh man, can we celebrate the whole family? We've got the whole family here. Amen. Amen. And you know, today is about mercy is blessed. It's also about Ada, his birthday, but it's about Jesus. Amen. So let's count down Jesus. Everybody give me a J. Give me an E. Give me an S. Give me a U. And give me a resounding S. Hallelujah. Happy birthday, sis. We love you. 
Thank you so much. Please come back again. All right. Thank you. God bless you. All right. Uh, just for those who is your first time, please, I want you to know our services are not usually long like this. Before you say you're not coming back to Waterbrook, please, today, please, we, we took a pass today. It's usually not like this. Usually between 11 and 12, 31 latest, we're out of here. So please, no vex, I beg. In fact, if it's your first time, just wave. Can we see you? Can we celebrate you if it's your first time? Can I get you to stand up on your feet so that we can see you properly? Please, if it's your first time, don't lie in the house of God. If it's your first time, stand up and let us see you. And let us celebrate you. Thank you for coming to the Waterbrook Church. Thank you for joining us on this very special Thanksgiving Sunday. Um, I just want you, if you for first time, as if you look, where are my people with the sign? Where are they? Where are they? If you see, if you look in the back of the hall, you see some people waving. They're very beautiful. We have some small chops for you, something to drink, something to eat, to appreciate you properly. So we don't mind after the service if you can just head that way now if you can head that way now so we can give you something to eat and drink i promise you five ten minutes of your time while we are finishing the service will treat you right as the vips that you are so if you can please just go just go right now right now go go right now right now amen all right ladies and gentlemen recap upper room tuesday 7 p.m at the table wednesday 7 p.m and next Sunday, we are back here again for another powerful, amazing service. Who's been blessed today? Amen. Okay, we're going to hand back to Joe Praise to take us out. But thank you so much for worshiping with us today. Joe Praise, please, over to you, sir. Thank I hug you, you bros. Good to see you again. Good to see you. So, so now, now, this song is, you know, those party after party kind of thing. What are Brooks? Don't be doing like this. Oh, this is young, a church for young people. Don't be acting as though. Okay, oh, they've not had lunch. If I have these four people with me, I'm okay. Are we ready? So let's go, Sandman. Put it up there. Put it up there. Pop, pop, pop. I need the sound everywhere. Sound everywhere. Everywhere. Sound everywhere. Uh huh. Small, 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 small. amazing it is such a great service wow look at church guys can you actually do church right now i am so glad <laughs> it was it was amazing even as as uh, apostle tony apostle um, tony rapper said it wasn't just a thanksgiving service; it was an anointing service as well the charge was absolutely amazing it was. Oh my God. I, I feel like words are really expressed but when you look around you see how Absolutely. It was an absolutely blessed service. We're still, we're still in that. We're still enjoying all of that. We hope you guys also enjoyed it as well, because it actually has genuinely been absolutely amazing. What a service! What a service it was! What a service it was! We hope you guys enjoyed it as much as we enjoyed it. What was the highlight for you? For me, I think it was the worship was amazing. The guest ministers were absolutely amazing. Everyone brought it. Mr. Dahei and of course, you know, um, Joe Praise was absolutely amazing. And PT being in the house was super, super amazing. The word from Pastor Jude as well was so amazing. Absolutely. Absolutely. There's so much to thank God for, so much to thank Him for, so much to thank Him for. I'm grateful for the water church. Absolutely. I'm grateful for mercy, He's blessed. Hi, how are you doing? Hi. What's your name? Tega. Hi, Tega. How was service for you? Fine, thank you. What do you enjoy about service? Praise and worship.
thanked him in everything. Okay, do you have any last words? God bless everyone. God bless you. I'll see you on Sunday. We'll be seeing you next week. Absolutely. <laughs> it's absolutely fantastic. I don't know if anyone else from the show joined us, but let's read through some of the Yes. <laughs> we'll be going back to the service shortly, talking to a few people. Hey, how are you doing? Hello. How are you doing? What's your name, please? Abi. So, hi, Abi. I was service today. Awesome, awesome. I'll be here next week, Sunday. Look forward to that. Was this your first time? Yeah. Well, welcome to the church. We're still in the spring. We're still in the groovy mood. <laughs> Thank you so oh, much. Everybody's so excited. Everybody's so good. So I've never had a thank you service like this before. Never. And trust me, you always have this thank you service. This has been my favorite. Absolutely. By a mile. We're grateful to God for this service, for this house, for the leaders of this house, and also to you guys joining us from your homes as well. Thank you for being with us, for joining thank us. So and we hope that we see you guys yeah. next week. Have a fantastic day, guys. Bye. You cannot hide you. You cannot hide it. Hey, I got cho 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 cho. Hey, 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 hey. Someone is weak. We man, cho cho, cho cho, cho cho. They are my family. Woo! You touch them, you touch the God I serve. And that God on the blue <laughs> will bite you. God bless everybody.